Ikaw, Vixi Kukun, and you pack for ice bridges. On August 27, 2018, Carson Whitty assembled weather station equipment and tools for installation at the Selawick National Wildlife Refuge bunkhouse. These large items were loaded onto a small bush plane. Then Carson, Alex Whiting, and I flew out from Cotsview, over Cotsview Sound to Zasolik, where many regional residents have what is locally called a camp. Camp is where people spend time doing subsistence activities, such as hunting, fishing, and gathering. Camps typically have a simple cabin, drying racks for meat, and an outhouse. Team member Alex Whiting and his wife Sikorik allowed the Akagvik Sikakun project to install a weather measuring station on their camp's land. Last winter, I installed this remote weather station out here, but we've had issues getting batteries out here often enough to keep it powered. So we decided to install an autonomous power system to keep it going for the next year. Looking back earlier that winter, Carson explains over a Skype call with me how he installed the station to begin with and provided footage of the process. I was last in Kotzebue installing a weather station in a second location with Alex Whiting using his snow machines and heading to his property at Sasolik. So what that involved was packing up a sled with the pole, the mounting equipment, the battery, the sensors themselves, and the logger box. There is a good weather station at the airport because we want to study this whole, the whole sound. We don't want just that single point of measurement. We're installing these systems that we hope will continue to give us data over the whole course of the project. Roughly three months later, I was able to join Carson and Alex during our spring month-long field season so I could document what needed to be done at the weather station. We have a weather station behind me, so I'm coming in to check in with the station, put a new battery in, and just do a few things that I wanted to do to upgrade it and make it last longer. So the station is measuring incoming solar radiation, two-dimensional wind speed, temperature, humidity, pressure, and then rainfall, and then it's also got a GPS location on it. So this is a weatherproof box. And then basically we've just got a battery here and power comes in and gives power to this data logger, which is a super simple data logger. It's basically just taking a serial string coming out of this guy and just logging it to a compact flashcard. So it's just text data uh, depending on how long it ran. So one of the things we're checking out right now is how long did this thing run before the battery died? Because the battery is definitely dead. We calculated that they should last between three weeks and a month, given the environmental conditions we were putting them in. So now I'm out here switching the batteries, just getting a sense of how long they lasted, and then we're also gonna look into adding solar power, wind power, or both, to make the maintenance less intensive, because it's almost completely autonomous. Let's jump forward again to when I was able to document Carson making the weather station more autonomous. I'm just attaching uh these terminals to this battery, because even with these autonomous power sources, we still need a battery to charge and discharge from so that we can provide a steady amount of current to our system. Line on the ground here is a wind turbine that eventually I'm gonna put up once I've wired things together, and we're gonna hook a solar panel in as well. And between those two, we should be able to keep this thing powered all year. Right now I'm drilling a hole to put another one of these in to try to strap this down because the wind out here is pretty serious. So it's all strapped to this rebar that's sunk into the ground, but give it a little extra something to try to help it through the winter. And it's just got this, this one button here that says stop slash record. So if you click that, it tells it to stop recording. And if you saw that, maybe that little light went off with the R, this means record. So if that lights off, then you can pull this card out and that little thing lets you pull it out. I am installing this solar panel. It's so windy out here, the wind might just 
provide enough power all year, but we want to put this solar panel in, especially for the summer months. We're facing it south because we're really far north, so south is pretty much always the direction that the sun is. I'm going to plug in the solar panel, and that will be the final connection of this system. Making additions to the weather station was a success. Our team tries to find ways to make the scientific instruments as autonomous and long-lasting as possible, which continues to improve with innovations in technology and trial and error. Egal, wechsel gekund, new path for ice bridges.